Hi everyone, it's Michael. So similar to the last video, um, I wanted to cover a problem uh, that's maybe simpler than the ones I did, um, maybe than the first eight problems I showed. So you get a little bit of a break here, although it's not super easy, I would say. Um, and because it is uh, has a shorter proof, I am going to give two proofs um, instead of just one. Um, because that's always fun to see uh, the different ways. So this problem, I actually first saw it at a summer math program I went to called Awesome Math. So I don't know if any of you have heard of that, but it's a, a math program in the U.S. Um, but I'd then seen it again in a few other places. It's It's been posted on the Art of Problem Solving Forum a couple of times. Um, and there's a book, there's a good geometry book called Victor Praslov's Problems in Plain Geometry. I think it might be plain and solid geometry, um, but I saw it there too. So I'm not sure where it first first originated, but it's um, semi-famous. So um, if you haven't seen it, feel free to pause the video and give it a shot. All right, so I will now go over it. Uh, so we have a triangle ABC, where AB is equal to AC, and M is the midpoint of BC. Uh, let E be the foot of the perpendicular from M to AB, and F is the midpoint of EM, and we want to show that AF is perpendicular to CE. So since F is the midpoint of EM, we want to see if we can make it part of a mid-segment in another triangle. So here's how I'm going to do this with the first proof. Uh, let D be the midpoint of EB, and then uh, DF is a mid-segment of triangle EBM. So I'm going to draw on a, a couple more lines. Um, but basically, um, since DF is a mid-segment mid in triangle EBM, DF has to be parallel to BM. So that's step one. Um, but BM is perpendicular to AM because triangle ABC is isosceles and M is the midpoint. So since BM is perpendicular to AM and DF is parallel to BM, we have to have DF is perpendicular to AM. Okay. And then also by the problem statement, uh, ME is perpendicular to AD. Uh, that's just given. So, since if we look at triangle ADM, ME is perpendicular to AD and DF is perpendicular to AM. So, therefore, F has to be the orthocenter of triangle ADM um, because uh, any two perpendiculars will meet at the orthocenter, which then um, passes through the third perpendicular. So we're going to take advantage of that fact. So the third perpendicular is AF. So since F is the orthocenter, AF has to be perpendicular to DM. Um, but DM is parallel to EC. So, and that's because DM is a mid-segment. Um, so we're not just using that F as the midpoint of EM. M is also the midpoint of BC. And so DM is, is the mid-segment in triangle ABC. And, and so DM is parallel to CE. So since AF was perpendicular to DM, but DM is parallel to CE, that means AF has to be perpendicular to CE. And that solves the problem. So that's the first proof. And I think it's probably a little simpler than the second proof. Um, although I feel like the second proof may be I'd more likely to be fine on my own. I, I'd be more likely to find on my own. So I'm going to go over the second proof now because um, it gives a number of good insights um, that can be used for other problems in general. Okay, so we want to use that F is the midpoint of EM and we want to like include F in a mid segment of a triangle. So last problem we took the midpoint of BE, this, this time we're going to choose, we're going to let D be the midpoint of MC. 
So now uh, DF is a mid-segment in triangle EMC. So just drawing in a couple more lines here. All right. So um, the next step is um, to note that uh, triangle AEM has to be similar to triangle AMC. And why is that? Well, they're both right triangles, um, but they also have uh, angle EAM is equal to angle MAC by symmetry. So they're right triangles with another additional equal angle. And so they have to be uh, similar triangles. So there we go. Angle MAE is equal to angle CAM. And so these two triangles are similar. Um, so those, there's um, a very good method in geometry called the gliding principle, um, which immediately can tell you that AFD is, is 90 degrees, although it's not as well known of a principle. So I'm not going to go through it here in the playback, but if you really want to see it, I'd recommend Googling the gliding principle. Basically, it says that since triangle AEM is similar to AMC, if you um, match up the vertices between the two triangles and you go halfway to get so that, um, so that you get three new vertices, which are each halfway between um, the, the three pairs of vertices, that new triangle has to be similar to both the two original triangles. So since triangle AEM is similar to triangle AMC, um, a, point A matches with point A, point E matches with point M, and point M matches with point C. So if I go halfway between each of these two pairs, uh, halfway between point A and point A is just point A, halfway between point E and point M is F, and halfway between point M and point C is point D. So the resulting triangle AFD would have to be similar to both of the two original triangles, and so AFD would have to be 90 degrees. Um, so... But that, so, but that gliding principle, it's somewhat well-known, but it's not um, the most well-known. So I'm going to sort of work out the details using more elementary methods um, instead for now, from now on. Um, so like I mentioned, AEM is similar to AMC. Um, but note that since F is the midpoint of EM in AEM and D is the midpoint of MC in AMC, uh, AF and AD are corresponding parts of those two similar figures. So because of that, um, triangle AFM has to be similar to triangle ADC because they're both corresponding parts of the same similar figures. Um, but before I get to that in the playback of the steps, um, so, um, so triangle FAM is, is, I'm sorry, angle FAM is equal to angle DAC because these are, these are also two, um, corresponding parts of the two similar figures since F is, like I mentioned, F is the midpoint of EM, D is a midpoint of MC and, and these triangles are similar. So, um, because of that. Uh, we can do the following computation. So angle FAD is FAM plus MAD, but FAM is equal to DAC, as we mentioned. So therefore, angle FAD is equal to MAD plus CAD, and that's just MAC. So angle FAD has to equal angle MAC. Okay. Um, and then also, like I mentioned before, triangle AFM is similar to triangle ADC because they're um, the corresponding parts of two similar figures. So AF over AD um, has to equal AM over MC because those are corresponding sides. Um, but, but note that if we sort of look at it a different way, AF over AD is the ratio of two sides in triangle AFD, and AM over MC is the ratio of this, the same two sides in triangle AMC. And we said up here that 
this angle between those two sides has to be equal. So we have two triangles that have an equal angle and the two sides um, surrounding that angle are in the same proportion and so the triangles have to be similar. So triangle AFD is similar to triangle AMC and that means that AFD has to be 90 degrees so AF is perpendicular to FD. So basically we just took a, um, a longer, more elementary way of proving what, court, what we could have sort of seen at a glance from the gliding principle. But either way, AF is perpendicular to FD, but up here we said DF is parallel to CE, so that means AF has to be perpendicular to CE. So I hope you all enjoyed this problem. This is a, a fun one. Um, and I'm sure there's even more solutions. So if you can find any others, uh, feel free to post them in the comments. Uh, thanks, everyone.